Hi. Hi, how are you doing today? Very well. Good. So I think the last time we met, um, we were at Great City Phase 3. Yes. And based upon your request, we are here to show you some of our sites. Yes. And it is an honor for me to introduce you to one of our premium sites called The View. Yes. So um, at least um, let me start with my name. I'm Desmond. I'm the Chief Operating Officer. Okay. okay. Uh, can you introduce yourself? I don't want to introduce you to the rest <laughs> of the world. Well, my name is Lisa Botley. I am um, wife of Landon. <laughs> <laughs> wife of Landon Botley. We've been here about four months yes. here in Ghana. We've moved to Ghana and made Ghana our home. Ghana is indeed your home. Yes, absolutely yes. our home. So, can you introduce yourself as well? Hi, I'm Maxine. So, I am a potential client of Royal Kingdom Estates. I'm from the UK and I work in property development at the largest housing association in the UK. You are a big woman. <laughs> <laughs> the tallness doesn't come from anyway. It's all part and parcel of the, the role. So, yeah. We also have Lydia. She is uh, part of our sales and marketing executives at the office. Um, I have here Hello. Ajua. Hello. <laughs> Tell us who Ajua is. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Ajua Adi. I am now the digital media strategist for Royal Kingdom Estates. So you're going to be seeing me more on the channel. I'm going to be doing more of the interviews, talking to clients, engineers, basically everybody on the channel. So I'm really looking forward to the journey. And thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Seth. Um, he is the head of... Uh, uh, sales and marketing at Royal Kingdom Estate. And then we have George, he is now the head of, uh, so they are the big heads. <laughs> so he's the head of uh, engineering at Royal Kingdom Estate. Okay. And it is my singular honor to introduce you to The View. The View. <laughs> let's, let, let's just Sorry. get in there. So over here, um, we are partly in the eastern region and partly in the Greater Accra region. Okay. So this this place is actually Abokubi Hills. Abokubi Hills, okay. Yes. So over here is the capital city, Accra. Wow. So you wake up. Yes. And then you tell the whole of Accra, <laughs> good morning, my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely very beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes, you can see why they call it the view. Yes. Wow. It is quite the view. It is, it is. And, it's and, and, and it's going very fast. Okay. As as we speak, we are about 60% uh, sold out of it. Awesome. Year. Okay. Yes, but what we, we're doing is um, we are expanding. So we have added about, um, is it 15 acres? Okay. Already. Okay. And, and we are still adding. Nice. Uh, yes. So let's just go down some. I want okay. you to catch a glimpse well. I okay. use your phones to be able to take a few shots. We have construction ongoing. So just like we have mentioned on all our sites, mm -hmm. it's the same procedure. We have been able to liaise with the authorities that be, and they have given us the, the opportunity to be able to allow clients to build. Okay. The reasons being that um, sometimes our processes are not the same as what you have in the UK okay. and in the US and all. So Rackingham Estate is bridging the gap yes. for us to be able to have people build and build fast. Mm -hmm. So what we, is happening is that once you purchase with us, you can start immediately. We also are able to register or transfer your deed for you once you want us to also do that for you as well. Yeah. So everything, construction, everything, documentation, Rackham Number State is here to assist you to be able to do what you have to do. Yes. Yes. We help cover everything. Yes, we cover everything mm -hmm. at Rackham Number State. That's why you always say it's the one stop shop. It's one stop shop, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so before you even start building, just like uh, the Broadleys did, um, they had to bring us their drawings for us to inspect mm -hmm. to, to, to actually check if there are issues with it. We will be able to advise them because most people will, first of all, get to uh, architects who design for them, and sometimes they don't really understand their drawings. Mm -hmm. All they see are pictures, yeah. front elevation. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like them. And then others, um, where, where we have a 3D perspective, you are able to see pictures. Oh, my house is nice. Mm -hmm. But there are certain things that you may not be able to see. Right. And that's where Rocking Domestic comes in. So even where we're not even building for you, what we do is that we still come to site to be able to check exactly what is going on. And a, a, a typical case is what is happening here. I'll take you through some of the things that are ongoing over here. 
so that you perfectly understand the constructions that are going on and what we do each time we come to site okay. so that we are able to assist the builders, assist the clients because mm -hmm. this client is not here mm -hmm. so that we are able to bridge the gap. Yes. So it's like Lisa is not here, Lisa is in the US, her building must still continue. Yes. We don't want a break in her building because Lisa is not here to check and you see those have been the issues in the past where people do not know who exactly to trust right. when it comes to construction. It's very and important. That, that is where we have come in to ensure that the right things are done. Yes. That is. So you can see what is happening here. What is happening here is that because the land slopes, they have done what we call the cut and fill. They have cut portions of the land and then they are building what we call part foundation. Mm -hmm. Yes, part foundation. So that it's able to carry the weight okay. that's going to be on it. Okay. And then it's likely they're going to create a basement underneath it as well. Okay. Yes, so 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 that's so it's it's, it's different from the ordinary street foundation. And in some of our videos, we'll be taking you through the various types of foundations. The engineers are around. We'll be, that's where we also come in to explain. Mm -hmm. Because most people in our part of the world think that it's only strip foundation that mm -hmm. we normally have to do. Unless, of course, you are building skyscrapers mm -hmm. or high-rise buildings mm -hmm. that you have to change the foundation. But we have various types. And even sometimes, especially with a slopey site like, like this, you need to have a robust foundation so that you are able to ensure that your building is, is well built. In fact, if the foundation crumbles, mm. the whole building comes down. Yes, yes. So these are the few things uh, we are doing. So we normally come do random checks. Okay. And then uh, we advise clients and then builders. Where we see that builders are not doing the right thing, we'll stop right. it. Okay. Now that's reassuring. So even though you're not the builder, you will still come around to make sure things are compliant. Yes. That's awesome. And I've been here on countless occasions to ensure that the right things are done. Mm -hmm. So when I come, in fact, I've checked what, what he's doing is spot on. So I've not had any issues <laughs> whatsoever with what they are doing. Once we have, we see red flags, mm -hmm. we'll stop them. Okay. They need to explain because the assembly is also putting us in trust. Okay. That we have all the engineers to ensure mm -hmm. that the right things are done. So we have to be able to also do what we have to do as a company. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. So I understand that the client lives in the U.S. Uh -huh. And I wanted to know how often are you in communication with the client in order for them to understand the process that's being done whilst they are not physically here? Okay, so this is what happens. Um, this particular client, when he came to the office, mm -hmm. he brought us drawings. We saw a few issues with it. We invited the architect who even designed it. We advised them. They went back. They amended the, the drawings, brought it back to us. So as we speak, we have a copy of the drawing so that we are able to monitor what goes on on site as well okay. because if I have not seen the plan what am I coming to even check yeah. for you in the first place yeah so after all those things are done then we are the same people also working on permitting for them okay, okay. yeah that makes sense okay. now the final aspect is that when I come to site and everything is ongoing one I've met the builder so I know the, the builder very well if there are issues, he has to let me know. Number two, the builder is supposed to relay information to the client on daily basis. Yes. So I only come, so when I come in like today, if I see what they are doing, I don't see anything wrong with what they are doing. So there's nothing to tell the client. Okay. It is, it is their prerogative for them to be able to speak with the client. Okay. But where I see an issue with what they are doing, I'll ask, where is your builder? Why this, why that? Yes. Stop. I want to have a clear understanding of what is happening. If it does not sit well, we'll stop you. They come to the office, we arrange, come to the site, make the corrections, and then we move. Okay, so it's the builder that has main communication with the client. Yeah, but where we are where well. we are building for clients, what we do is that we give them constant communication. Okay. So first off, before we start with even your design, what we do is that we put you in a group. We will do the ground floor, first floor, whatever floor plans. Yeah share it with you and what we do is that after sharing it with you if you're not even here we have to now use any of the social media platforms either zoom or so whatever and then take you through the plan this is your entrance this is your lobby this is your bedroom you move here these are sizes are you okay with it mm -hmm. no i don't want this i want xyz changes we do all of them for you so it's a process okay. until you tell me i'm okay with this that makes sense then number two we get to the next 
part, which is the plan that I'm showing you, you may still not be able to understand it because you are not into construction. Yeah. So the next thing we do again is to give you a 3D perspective. Okay. I, it looks like a picture. Yes. Then you see, okay, yeah, oh, I can now see my building. I can now see the pillars. So I can now see where the shape, you now understand it more. Okay. Again, you can still tell us, okay, with this building, the windows are too tiny, make them bigger. I don't like the shares, I don't like the painting, change the painting color, change this. We will change all okay. until you are okay. Then when you tell us you are okay, you give us two weeks, we now get, get into the working drawings, okay. finish everything, and then we present it to you. Okay. Again, before we even print it out, we will send it to you, you, you go through it, I explain every question you have, bring them on board. After the explanation, mm -hmm. we print them, we stamp them, and then we give you four copies. Okay. And at that point, would it have gone through the planning process or you're now going to take it to the planning process to get Okay, so through? we are now going to take it to the planning process. But like I, I mentioned, we are working, it's, it's a collaborative work. Okay. So what we do is that when, once the plan is ready, you, the client, will give you a copy. Yes. And we'll keep three copies. Yes. Okay. So the three copies are what we are going to present at the planning department. Okay, that makes sense. So that we are able to approve of it. When when the approval comes, they will bring you one copy and keep two copies. Okay, so you will have a copy prior to uh, the submission and one after the approval. Exactly. So you can see the difference. So the client is building, yes. your documents have been submitted. So let's, let me give you a, a, a clear cut example. The Broadleys, for instance, are building currently. Yeah. I have a copy of their drawing at the office. Okay. Now, as we speak now, Rack and Number State, we are doing a whole lot for our homeowners. Mm -hmm. One, we are registering the layout with our own money. We are not billing anybody. Okay. After doing that, we are going to also do the submission. Okay. We are equally building the security posts for Great City Face 3 for free. We are not charging anybody. So these are the few things we are doing. And in fact, currently what we are doing is that we have done a bit of an adjustment at phase three because we want to equally build the whole perimeter fence wall okay. of phase three. Okay, for free for the client. For the client. So when you buy the land, it's part of it. You know you're not going to pay for security fence wall at phase three. It's a package okay. that we are, we are giving to clients. And like I mentioned earlier on, all our lands are hugely discounted. Yes. I believe Lisa will speak to that because they, they, they mentioned the last time they came to Ghana, they were able to scout, and that's what we want to hear. Yeah. Scout around, check the prices, check what we are giving you. Litigation freelance. You uh, pay your money, give us seven working days, we give you your, your documentation. Once you receive it, go to the site, start work. Uh, maybe we have to ask them, any langas disturbing you? No langards. No, langards. no one is chasing okay. you with. No one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, buy, build. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Mm -hmm. What's being put up here? Okay, so I think he's he's putting up. Um, if I am correct, it's a it's a five bedroom apartment. Nice. However, what they are doing currently, like I mentioned, is to build a foundation. Mm -hmm. So they are they have built the uh, the part foundations already, and then what they are doing now is putting the footing blocks mm -hmm. and you can see that they are using quality high quality blocks uh, these are sunkrit blocks you can see from here six inch uh, sunkrit blocks so that it's able to give you a robust base for you to be able to uh, build on and if this were not good we'll ask them to stop work yeah, okay. but as we speak now everything they are doing is on point so they can carry on Good deal. Happy nice. client. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so you spoke a lot about um, consulting when it comes to construction, and I just wanted to find out um, does that apply to just people who purchase um, lands and properties from you, or can somebody have already have a piece of land and then come to Royal Kingdom Estate for, you know, consulting? How does that work? Okay, so Royal Kingdom Estate is a home, mm -hmm. it's a family. Yeah. And once you join the family, every problem that is for daddy mommy also has to have the same problem okay everybody enjoys the same problem mm. so if you have a piece of land and you have issues on it and you want consortium mm -hmm. just visit our, our office nice you have the office number streaming mm -hmm. just just visit our, our office and we are always there to assist you that's lovely we have okay. if you want to even send us emails mm -hmm. you have any project anywhere that you want us to come check for you mm -hmm. to ensure okay. the right things are done 
we are there to do it for you. See, what is happening is that most people are afraid to contact engineers. Yeah. yeah. There is a notion engineers are very expensive. So we are breaking it down for you okay. so that our work and what we are doing mm -hmm. will be appreciated. Okay. So we are, not, we are not expensive at all. We are not uh, cheap. But we are equally not expensive. We just make sense. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, don't be... Feel free. Just reach out. Whatever it is, Royal Kingdom Estates is always open to accept and offer help and solutions. Thank you. The one-stop shop. One-stop shop. Yes. <laughs> so, Desmond, what is the price point for this particular community? Um, it's going for a cool 200,000 Ghana cities for outright purchase. Okay. And 220,000 cities for installment so okay, for installment nice. basis what you do is that you pay 50 percent and we spread the 50 percent over a six months period okay, for you okay, okay. in fact lands around this area are priced in dollars yes okay. however we have chosen to discount it hugely so that we are able to get people to buy nice and i will tell you as uh, during the course of our engagement mm -hmm. the very things we are doing rolling everywhere uh, with the formation of bringing all homeowners together to be able to build a community okay. is rolling on every side mm -hmm. wonderful wonderful yes. i think maxine asked this in a car but let me just throw it to you again what does like decreasing or giving such huge discounts to your clients what does it do for you as a company okay so this is what it does for us we are building a brand mm -hmm. yeah. we are building a family mm -hmm. rke is a family and for most of us who joined, we joined on the family train. Mm -hmm. Same as Lisa. Yes. Same as you. Yes. In fact, for most people who joined, it's just the family. Most of them came, most of us came to work for clients. Mm -hmm. And now we are here working for the company. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's how we have built it. So what we are looking for is that, yes, much as it's a company that is looking at uh, making profit, we also want to be able to ensure that we are giving our clients litigation free mm. and the best of lands at relatively competitive prices. Yes. So what we do is that to be able to negotiate well, mm -hmm. to be able to reduce the price point down okay. so that homeowners can be able to purchase yes. and have a peaceful mind. So what I tell people is that in fact in this area, if you come, I wish you go around Make your own checks. <laughs> yes. Then you come back to us. Yes. <laughs> yes. Go, go ask. Go yes. ask. Yes. yes. <laughs> Just on Lisa's point about the cost of the land, mm -hmm. um, obviously she works in dollars, I work in pounds. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to the conversion of the 200,000 and 220,000 cities, how, what does that mean for us? Is it Will it be stronger if we bought later or would it be stronger if we bought at a certain point? in order for us to get value for money? Or will the currency stay the same and we anticipate that we'd be paying a fixed rate over time? Um, about a week ago, mm -hmm. a client contacted me and um, asked that we give them a quote for uh, two plots of fence wall. Mm -hmm. When I gave it to him, they went to inquire from another client that we built for them for their four plots. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, there are two plots. Mm -hmm. It's more higher than the four plots mm -hmm. that we built a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. <laughs> so they came asking, how come that we are building two plots of uh, fence wall yeah. and then four plots? In fact, ours is even higher than them. Mm -hmm. It's because they built a year and a half ago. Yeah. Okay. So it is better and cheaper to buy now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't buy now, it will be more costly tomorrow. So do your conversion, yeah. mm -hmm. pounds, uh, Canadian dollars, yeah. US dollars, do it and buy now. Yeah. Okay. So RK doesn't have a fixed rate. We go with um, whatever the rate is at the point of buying. In fact, RKE can be able to adjust our prices anytime. Mm. Okay. Yes, we are we are that flexible to adjust. And maybe looking at what is happening, we should be able to increase because this place is so nice. Yes. To about uh, <laughs> three hundred thousand. Oh. <laughs> right now. Yes, right now. You don't want to get to No, no. no. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. So in fact, you don't wait to buy land. You I buy land and wait. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's only going to appreciate over time. Yes. Those who missed out on Great City Phase 1, mm -hmm. well, let me not say that here. When I get there, I'll say it. Okay. Those who missed out on Great City Phase 1 yes. are today biting their fingers. Mm. 
because at the time it was cheaper. Why didn't I buy it? Mm -hmm. And most people were skeptical. Are they really for, for real? Yes. <laughs> Why do I have to buy it here? I don't want to. And today they have come, they are buying phase three. Mm -hmm. And it's higher. Mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, when Lisa bought hers, mm -hmm. it's not the same price point today. Yeah. The prices have changed. Mm -hmm. So buy and buy now. Yes. yes. Are you glad you bought it? Then? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Best decision ever. Okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, one more question. So um, the little time that I've been doubling in real estate, I think for the conversations that I've had with people, and I'll probably talk to Lisa about her purchase later. But um, usually people are like, okay, we want to be inside town. We want to, you know, be close to the city and blah, blah, whatnot. But here we are quite a distance you know from the town what would you say or what advice would you give to people who are skeptical about buying properties or lands that are you know so far out of town have you ever heard of spintex yes <laughs> <laughs> few years ago uh -huh. mm. if somebody gives you spintex mm -hmm. you tell them you don't want it have you heard of Chado? yes few years ago <laughs> if anybody gives you a property there i know people who are telling me I was giving freelance. I told her I don't even want it. Uh, and today they are biting their fingers. Yes. See, wow. there is there is no place like a village anymore. Mm -hmm. The whole world is a global village. Mm -hmm. And we are developing and developing very fast. Now, if you stand here and you look at the city, look at the view. Mm -hmm. Now, a few years ago, it wasn't like this. Yeah. Now you can see few uh, greens around. But what we are also doing is that we are still conserving our greenery. Mm -hmm. But if you don't buy today, you don't own a piece today, tomorrow you're going to bite your fingers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And it's nowhere is far. For example, where we are, we are we are close to the one of the, the premium universities here mm -hmm. in, in in West Africa. Okay. Just get to their entrance, move towards your left, mm -hmm. and you are at uh, uh, how do you even call that place? Kwabenya. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You turn towards your right. You're getting mm -hmm. to a bri. Mm -hmm. You are going to Koforidia. Everywhere yes. is connected. Yes. Yes. Perfectly. yes. So there is nowhere that is. In fact, when we are coming, if you are coming for the first time, you might think, this place, is it, is it too far? <laughs> <laughs> but you, you get here and you're like, whoa, this is, this is breathtaking. Yeah. And from here to Ashesi, it's less than five minutes drive. Mm -hmm. That's even in this particular uh, state of the road. Can you imagine when the roads are constructed? It's going to be a place that you are going to enjoy. Yeah. So buy now. Yes. The time to buy is now. now.